Dr. Floyd, who has been a medical doctor for over four decades, met Akut while they were both students at the medical school at UCT in the 1970s. She and Agat had a romantic relationship and lived together for several years. She walked the court through the days leading up to the arrest by the security police. The union officers they worked at were raided. Official union vehicles were tampered with by the security police. She and Agat were followed every night by at least six police cars to the extent that they tried to run off the road at one point. He was followed by five police vehicles and he picked it up. You know, if you're followed by one, it's quite easy. But if it's five, one will overtake and turn off. It's quite difficult to track five. I was not followed when I went to work. But if I left the house, if I came back from work and then left the house, I would also be followed. And I couldn't track the five, but one day when I turned and tried to evade them, I could see the five. And then there were the five, they would follow us with five vehicles at one time. Now that's very intensive monitoring. And we didn't at the time know why, but it was obviously very serious. She and Agat lived in fear of the security police, but believe they were marginally safe as they did not have any political secrets from any of the underground band movements. We were under intensive security police surveillance and harassment and didn't really know why. I mean, it was clearly trying to intimidate us in what we were doing, and specifically him. But we, we didn't know what the, the background was. Looking back, I think they already had the Close Comrades document and they were watching him to see exactly who he met and what he was doing. The trial continues. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg.